हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सारिका पनवर आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन द वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन थेरी कोडिंग एंड कम्युनिकेशन नेटवर्क टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द हफमन कोडिंग यूजिंग मैटलैब इन अवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड वन न्यूमेरिकल बेस्ड ऑन हफमन कोडिंग वे आर वी कंसिडर्ड द फाइव सिम्बॉल्स एंड वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड इट्स करस्पॉन्डिंग सोर्स कोड that is variable length source code so considering the same numerical now we will write the huffman code now we will write one program in matlab for huffman coding now see this in matlab there are basically th three main windows this is a workspace window where the variables which are created during the programming will be displayed this is the command window and this is the editor window where you can write the code okay so now uh, we will open a new script uh, this is the new script for your huffman code which is untitled now okay now initially what we will do we will write a statement for taking the number of symbols from the user okay so we will use the input function in matlab which is used to take the input from the user initially uh, this message as it is will be displayed enter the number of symbols and then uh, though that value will be stored in x variable and n will stored actually uh, one matrix uh, having the rows 1 to 5 now we will display the values of the number of symbol that is the value of n so for that we will use disp function the number of symbols are n and that will be displayed by using disp then we have to take the input probabilities of the those corresponding symbols the input probabilities will be accepted by the user from the user by using input function and that will be stored in p variable disp this uh, this is actually used to display the data on command line or output console rather we can call so now in this statements what we did we have accepted the total number of symbols from the user and its input probabilities now as we have discussed already discussed in huffman coding that initially we have to arrange the probabilities in descending order so that we will do by using the sort function there is one sort function in matlab which can sort the probabilities in either ascending or descending order so this sort function will sort the probabilities which are stored in p variable these probabilities are stored in p variable and that we have to sort in descending order so p and p argument we have given as an input to this sort function and those uh, sorted probabilities will be stored in s variable now we will display the sorted probabilities on output window so again we will use the disp function this disp function will again display the sorted probability because s is nothing but its input argument which is given as an input to the disp function now we have to use one function here that is huffman dict function huffman dict function it is defined in communication toolbox of matlab huffman dict function needs two input arguments that is n variable which is nothing but the number of symbols and s variable which contains the sorted probability so sorted probabilities in descending order 
and number of symbols n will be the input argument to this Huffman DICT function and this Huffman DICT function will now actually generate the source code for this particular symbol having the corresponding probabilities. Now this DICT function will return us two variables, two parameters that is DICT and AVG LEN. DICT contains the source code, variable length codes of these nth number of symbols and average length of all the symbols. These two values it has returned. Now we will see what is the average length of the source code. We have already seen how to do it mathematically. Now we have to check whether we are getting the same results practically or not. So we will check the average length by using this display function. For finding the efficiency of Huffman code, we have to calculate the entropy. And for finding the entropy, we have to declare one variable h initialized with 0 and now we will use the for loop. We know the formula for entropy that is probability of that symbol into log to the base 2 1 over probability of that particular symbol. Okay? So we have to take the summation of all those entropies and we will get the average information content of all the symbols and that is nothing but h. So for that purpose we have initialized h is equal to 0 and initial it will find the probability of each and every symbol and that will be added into the variable h. So finally we will get the entropy final entropy of all the symbols that we can call as the average information. So the two parameters required for finding the efficiency of Huffman code is nothing but its average length of the code and the entropy. So initially we will display the value of the entropy on output window. So by using DISP function we can do it and now we will find the efficiency. We will display this uh, entropy unit that is uh, bits per message by using DISP function and then we can now find the efficiency that is nothing but the ratio of entropy and average length into 100. Okay? So that will give you the percentage efficiency. So E variable will store the value of efficiency, percentage efficiency of this Huffman code. Now, we will display the efficiency by using DISP function. Now two more new functions we have to use that is Huffman inco and Huffman deco. Okay, what this function will do that we will see. You can get the help of this function. If you click right and select this option help on Huffman inco. It will show you the details of that function. See Huffman inco function, what is given? This Huffman inco function needs two arguments, input arguments seek and DICT and it will return you the code word. Okay? Now we know that when we um, execute the uh, Huffman algorithm step by step, at the end uh, we get the variable length code word for each symbol. Okay, and that will be done by this Huffman inco function which is inbuilt function in communication toolbox of MATLAB. So here uh, you can observe the, uh, you can see the description of this uh, Huffman inco function. Uh, it encodes the input signal SIG that is our uh, uh, N which contains the number of symbols. Using the Huffman codes described by the input code dictionary DICT.seq, 
can have the form of vector cell array or alpha alphanumeric array if sij is cell array it must be either a row or column so here in this help box you can get the help on each and every function which is readily available in matlab toolboxes okay now here we are using huffman inco function we are giving n and dict what what this uh, dict contains dict contains the dictionary that that is nothing but the binary codes having variable length for all the n symbols okay so if we want to transmit all these n symbols on communication channel so we should get the codes of all those symbols and that will be given by the huffman inco function and code word is the output parameter which will be returned by huffman inco function which contain that code word of n symbol we will display the code word here now after displaying the code word what we will do we will use the huffman deco function now at the receiver side when we decode the encoded huffman source code then that is done by the huffman deco function in matlab so what parameters it needs code word and dict the dict is the dictionary which is generated by the huffman dict function and code word are the received code words at the, at the receiver side these two, with these two parameters of man deco function will perform the decoding function and it will give you the decoded message decode variable we can display the decoded output now with this we have completed the program of huffman encoder and decoder now once we write the code we we need to save the code with .m extension so we will uh, save this with some name huffman inco deco dot m once we save this now we will run the code here from this editor tab you will get this run option so run the code ha huh. now what it is asking for c it is asking for the number of symbol that 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 is the input expected from the user so uh, we will give the five number of symbols as an input and those five symbols are displayed so 1 2 3 4 and 5 this symbols suppose we want to transmit and we have to now give the input uh, input probabilities that is the corresponding probabilities of this symbols so uh, we will give it as a 0.1 0.1 0.2 so these are the probabilities we have given as an input 0.1 0.1 0.2 0.4 okay now we now what will what it will do it will sort this probabilities first in descending order and then it will find the source code for this symbols hmm. now see you can observe the output here everything it has given so we have entered five symbols okay and the number of symbols n are displayed here 1 2 3 4 5 then it asked for the input probabilities these are the input probabilities we have given and it has uh, sorted those probabilities in descending order we have given in ascending order it has sorted it in descending order and it has find the average it is finding the average length of the code that is 2.2 you compare this practical value with the theoretical one which we have already calculated in our numerical entropy also you can verify entropy calculated is 2.12 in our numerical we have calculated 2.12 and it is verified here with the code it is 1. Point, uh, sorry 2.12 now efficiency also you can compare 
it is 96.45 and in our numerical also we got the same efficiency and now you can observe this code words you can verify and this is the decoded output now here in this window you can observe all the variables which are generated during this execution of the code okay so here in dict you can observe the uh, code words okay the symbol 1 code word is 1 that is 1 bit symbol 2 code word is 000, zero, zero that is 3 bit symbol 3 code word it is 01 that is 2 bit symbol 4 code word is 0011 4 bit and symbol 5 it is 0010 that is 4 bit so here we are achieving the variable length coding by using the Huffman code 